So to find the displacement, basically what we want to find is find out what is s of 8 and from where it started, which was s of 0. So s of 0, you plugged in 0, and we can see that that was 40, which we already solved. To evaluate for s of 8, actually, let me swap these around. s of 0 equaled 40. s of 8 equals 2 times 8 cubed plus 3 times 8 squared minus 3 times 8 plus 40. Now, this one is not really as fun um, to do without a calculator. So let's go ahead and just work on that. Thank you. See, see, there we go. There we go. See, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, 8 squared, 64 times 3. I could probably do that in my head, but I don't want to. That's 192. Negative 36 times 8. Negative 288 plus 40. So now let's go and add all this stuff up. Plus 192 minus 288 plus 40, 968. So the displacement. Okay, and I should have actually gone back to the other problem and made sure I wrote that in there, like total distance traveled equals, because this kind of goes back to what I was telling you guys about that. Don't just write the answer and just leave it and say, hey, there it is. Make sure you guys, once you've gone through the end, make sure you, at the end you go back and say, okay, I did all this work. The displacement is basically going to be s of 8 minus s of 0. So that's uh, 968 feet minus 40 feet, which is 928 feet. And you could just write, you know, the displacement. 928 feet. Okay? All right. So